In this edition of the GoPro Field Guide, I'm going to be teaching you about the new GoPro software update for Hero 4 cameras. This new software update delivers incredible performance improvements and new video features for the Hero 4, including time-lapse video and 720p by 240 video. It's amazing. I'm GoPro athlete Chris Davenport. Let's take a look. With the new update, it's now possible to shoot time-lapse videos straight from any Hero 4 camera. No post-production needed. Showcase a sunrise, riding up the gondola, or family gathering as a short, shareable video. Creating time lapses with your Hero 4 is easier than ever and can make for some spectacular footage. You can select your video time lapse to be in 4K for a wide 16x9 video or 2.7K for a taller 4.3 aspect video. You also have the option to select the photo interval. The longer the interval, the more sped up the time lapse video will look. You want to play around with this one to get a good feel for it. But any time lapse that is under an hour, I recommend keeping it in the default half second mode. Another great feature of the camera software update is the ability to shoot 720p at an impressive 240 frames per second. This mode is an absolute blast. By doubling the frame rate to 240 frames per second, you are now able to create high def, slow motion playback that wasn't previously available in a GoPro. This setting is great for fast action situations that you really want slowed down. I recommend using an LCD backpack or the GoPro app when filming in this mode. As you can see, the footage looks quite different than the traditional wide angle of a GoPro. That's because 720p 240 is shot in a narrow field of view and gives the impression of a zoom effect. To best nail the shot, use the GoPro app or LCD backpack. The setting is available in the Hero 4 black cameras only and is great for handheld shots and more. While these are the two main features of the software update, I want to briefly cover a couple other improvements. For the Hero 4 black, there is now the ability to shoot 2.7K in 60 frames per second. Previously, the limit was 48. Shooting 2.7K at 60 is perfect for capturing cinematic high-res footage while keeping the ability to slow the footage down. It also helps with reducing the jello effect that is sometimes seen in footage on mounts with high vibrations. This is my new go-to mode for follow cams and anything non-point of view. For all of you using Hero 4 Black or Silver to take photos, there is now a new way to never miss a moment. A new burst setting allows you to capture 30 photos in 6 seconds, perfect for longer duration fast action activities like skiing or surfing. There's a little bit of something for everyone in the new camera software update. I didn't cover everything, so head on over to gopro.com slash update for more information. To update your camera quickly and easily, you can use the GoPro app on your mobile device or go to GoPro Studio on your computer and you can also get the update directly at gopro.com backslash update. That wraps up our overview of the new GoPro Hero 4 camera software update. Thanks for watching and check back soon on GoPro Tutorials for more field guide episodes and product updates.